Okay, welcome to the second lesson on Inkscape. Here I will show you how to draw uh, simple object, simple objects in Inkscape and how to operate on them. Uh, the first, the simplest one is a rectangle. Okay, either you click R or you select uh, this icon and now we can draw a rectangle. Let's fill it in yellow and the control make with a shift black. All right. Uh, now what we can do, either we click uh, S or F1 on this icon, and now we can move it. If you click once again on this object, you'll be able to rotate it. Control Z, or we can shift uh, share this object. Control Z, Control Z. Uh, another important uh, thing to know that with Control, if you move the object with Control, it will move along one single line. So it doesn't change its vertical position if I move it with Control. And the same if I move uh, vertically with Control, it will, most of the time, it will <laughs> remain on the same line. Okay, and now if you want to rotate by a fixed uh, angle of fraction with a control, I rotate by 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90 degrees. Okay, so it will be easier to return the object to the initial position. About rectangle, one more thing. If I select this rectangle tool, I can also add some rounded corner on the rectangle. Okay. Uh, another thing now, we, uh, how to scale the objects. For example, we control C, control V, we insert the same object here and we can change its size. All like this. Okay. What you can notice that the thickness of all the lines and the curvature of this uh, curved uh, corners remains the same. However, if we would like to scale the object uh, and keep um, the curvature proportional to the size of the object, let's select the object, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and now if we click this button and this button, when we scale, change the size of the object, it will change the thickness of the line proportionally and the curvature proportionally as well. Okay, that's very useful. Okay, I remove these two objects. Uh, another thing to know, important to know, when I create an object, if I want to make, a, to draw not a rectangle but a square, I need to uh, to to hold Control button. Okay, and this then it draws a square, like like a real square. So control is an important button in almost all uh, graphical software. Uh, that's it uh, about rectangles. Now let me show you some simple operations. Create a rectangle. And now we would like to make a hole in this rectangle. Let's make a circle. If I, uh, if I hold the control button, it will create a circle, not an ellipse. Circle. And now we'd like to make a, a hole exactly in the middle of this rectangle. To do so, I will select both objects and call a menu, align, and distribute. Okay, I have selected two objects and I will select this type of um, alignment. 
according to the selection area you can choose according to the page for example let's select the page and we will central the object two objects at the center of the page or i can use rather it's more practical here selection area i select the object and align them on the central lines or you can select a line by bottom line left right and so on and now in order to make a home i can simply color and it looks like it was a hole right but But of course, this object now, okay, let me bring another form front. It's not a hole, right? It's just a um, white circle on the top. To make a hole, I'll need to select two objects, go here, path, and make a difference between two objects. Now, we really made a hole in the object. Okay, uh, this is a simple Boolean operation. Let's make another thing on the object. I will align these two objects and make path and once again difference. Now I'll create something else. Of course, we can add more on it. Align according to center, and we can union. Oops, sorry, make path union. This will come. Okay, and now it's not a rectangle any longer, it's a path, and all the control points could be, could be modified. I will show in the next lesson how to work with with path with curves. Uh, one more thing, one more important thing to I would like to show you. It's the it's this. So um, what I didn't use Control C Control V here because it takes more time. I use Control D. To duplicate object, Control D it's a, it's very handy uh, short key because duplication of object does not change its position. Okay, sometimes it's very helpful and it's faster than Control C and Control V. Okay, I have three circles of a different color. Now I would like to draw the intersections. So this is the original, Control G. I have a copy of this. Now I would like to have an intersection of these two circles. Go path, intersection. I got an intersection, but I want to keep uh, the original forms as well. I Control Z, select these two objects, Control G to duplicate them, path, intersection. Okay, I have one more new object, which is intersection of these two circles. Also, I'd like to have intersection of these two. I select both of them, Control D to duplicate them, path, intersection. I have one more object, which is intersection of these two circles. The same I do for this one. Okay, and I would like to have an intersection of three of them. I select this one, Control D, Path, Intersection. That's the third object. Okay, that's how it uh, how it works, and how Control D could be helpful. One more thing. So often we need to, to put one object behind another one and so on. To do so, you click on the object and 
uh, click page down. Type page down, page down, or page up, page up. It will bring uh, on the forefront. If you want to bring the object uh, uh, on the forefront, we can simply type home. Oops, no. Home. Wait. <laughs> home. Or if you go, if you want to bring it backward on the back, you type end. Okay. That's it. Uh, another simple object is a circle or ellipse. Of course, you can control manually uh, in a precise way the radius 50. This is to hold um, the proportion. Okay. And you can locate the object manually as well. Another simple form is a star. You have, um, you can control it in this way. Okay. You can control number of rays, make it convex, convex or concave. Um, not concave, not con convex or non-convex. And you can round a little bit, okay, like the coronavirus. Okay, well, not often we use the star object. And uh, another thing that I would like to show you is how to arrange objects. For example, we have uh, nine objects and we want to make a grid. We use the same align and distribute option, grid, and we'll make a grid three by three. Okay, with a spacing of 15 in X and 15 in Y. Okay, we can increase the, um, the spacing between objects to 13 X. Also, sometimes it's very handy to use uh, use the stuff. <clears throat> One more thing about um, coloring of objects. Let me select three of them. Um, combine them, and I wanna color this object. So either we can select a solid color or we can or we can make a use a gradient. Okay. I go to fill and stroke and he, here is the solid color. We can use either RGB option or any other preferred to you which one you prefer to select the column, for example, RGB. Here is this alpha channel, which controls the transparency. Okay, to demonstrate the transparency, let me draw one more object, bring it on the back from background. Okay. And I will control the transparency of the, this object. You can see this object behind appears. You can control alpha channel here or here. You can also blue the object. Um, so going back to the different types of color, you can select gradient. Okay, here you control the first color. Here you control the second color. Here are there, uh, it's fully transparent, but we can make it non-transparent. To control the direction of the gradient, you can use this control line. Okay. Also, this gradient could be repeated. I will erase 
kind of through here. Could be a bit this way or in a symmetric way. Okay, this is linear gradient. You can use non-linear gradient like this and control its direction. Make it not repeated. Also, you can uh, use uh, some patterns. For example, I use stripes. To control the size of the stripes, I type F2. I can change the direction. I can change the density of patterns. Okay. If I copy this object and I scale the object, okay, you can see this pattern remains fixed to the object and scales with. However, if I uh, remove this button and I will zoom, you will see more and more stripes. Okay, those are three types of, a few types of um, uh, filling the object. Another thing I would like to show you that apart from the fill in color, there is a stroke Right? and you select this color for the stroke. You can make it transparent as well. And also we can select the type of the stroke. Its thickness and also its type. It can be solid line, can be dashed line, it can be dashed dotted line. Uh, now you can see that it's rounded on the corner, but it can be sharp or offset it okay and if i make a new line the end of this line could be rounded can be shorter or longer One more thing you need to know about lines, that on the end of the line, you can select any any marker, for example, an arrow. And in the, in the beginning of the line, you can select another marker as well. Of course, the lines are not always straight. It could be curved. and it can have different many control points. And on the control points, you can also select a marker. For example, this one. And you select, you can of course change the color of the, oops, of the whole thing. That's it for simple objects. Uh, for Boolean operations, for translation, scaling, uh, filling, contours, and so on. In the next lesson, we will learn more about splines, about curves and paths. Thank you.